Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous video tutorial, as you know that we have completed the request fragment where we receive the uh, request from all the user who wants to connect with us, that is, uh, wants to chat with us, I mean to a current user or you can say to the online user. Now in this video tutorial, what we will be doing is that, uh, first of all, let me tell you, if you go to the settings activity, First of all, let me tell you, we will add a back button, okay? That is, if a user click here on this back button, then it should send us to the main activity. And also, we will add here a toolbar. And alongside with that, we will add the uh, name of this activity, which is setting, which will be the title of this uh, activity, and also a back button here, okay? And we will fix a bug. And the bug was basically, uh, I hope you know that, and since many people uh, have already told me in the comment sections in the uh, previous video tutorials, that is, whenever we uh, update the status from here, then it automatically, uh, I mean, delete the profile picture from here, I mean, from the database. So that's why it not uh, display here. First of all, let me, let me show you guys the database so that we can uh, see it here, okay? You can see this is my uh, information, okay? I mean my ID and now uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, update the status from here, okay? And here you can keep your eyes, image, name, status and UID. Let's say if I type something and I want to uh, update this, okay? Click update, then you can see the image node is deleted. And uh, now if I go to the settings again, then there will be no profile image, okay? It will just display the default profile picture of this app and the status is changed successfully. So we have to fix this bug, I mean, which delete the uh, uh, image. This is a very small bug, you can say. So for that, uh, go to the Android Studio first. And first of all, uh, what I'm going to do is to here, when we go to the settings activity, and here, when I come down here, when we update the settings, okay, here you can see this. What I'm going to do is here you can see hash map string and string. Uh, remove this second uh, uh, string, and here you can simply type object, which is this one. Now the reason for that is that is here we said dot set value, and we just pass this hash map profile map, map to it. Then it replaced the whole node from here, okay, the ID and all this node. We don't need this. We just want to update a single child, okay? Update children. So instead of that, you can see here we have this set value. Remove this set value and simply write update children, okay? Just like that. And then this was basically uh, the bug which caused that error. I mean, which deleting, uh, which delete basically the profile image. Now if I run the app again, so the app is running now successfully. And now let's uh, go to the settings. Also, alongside with it, we can check the uh, database so that we can now see. Okay, you can see name, status, and image. First, let me update my profile picture. So I will choose picture, and now let's crop the image. So I will click on crop, and let's work for it. Image node is added successfully, and now I'm going to uh, update the status again so that we can see either if it is uh, the bug is removed successfully or not. So I will change my status now, and let's say I'm going to write I'm a computer programmer. Type anything I mean. So yeah, that's it. Now I'm going to update the status. Let's click update and keep your eye. You can see now it just updated the status key. Okay, I mean this one. You can see this. I am a computer programmer and the rest. And the profile picture remains the same. And if I go back to the settings again, then now you will be able uh, to see my profile image there. Okay, so I mean this is perfect and this is a man now and it is working fine. Okay, so this was basically a small bug. Okay, now the next thing is to uh, whenever the user click on this back button, then it should send us to the main activity. And here you can see it just uh, closed the app. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do is uh, I will simply go to the Android Studio and here we have our main activity where it is here. Okay. Main activity and uh, come down here and here we have a method where we basically send the user to the main activity 
and we have to check it where it is this one okay send user to settings activity which is basically an intent to send the user from the main activity to the settings activity here you can see the second line which is settings intent dot add flags remove this line of code and also this finish from here okay so yeah that's it and now uh, let's run the app so the app is running now successfully and now let's go to the settings Okay, and now if I uh, click on back button, then here you can see it send us to the main activity or you can say to our fragments. Okay, because all of these four fragments are on our main activity. So you can see that. Now it is working fine. Now also, uh, if you guys want, then you can add here a toolbar that is here at the top, which will say that this is settings activity. So yeah, let's add that too. So what I'm going to do is first of all uh, close this main activity now and here we have this manifest android manifest.xml and if you come down here here we have this settings activity okay what I'm going to do is you can simply close this okay and here we can simply write now parent activity name and the parent activity name will be main activity so what now next is here you can see we have our this uh, app bar layout okay so we want to display it on our set settings activity activity settings dot xml file now click on text and now what I'm going to do is to include that uh, app bar layout here so here at the top we can simply say layout sorry first of all we have to write include close this and now here we can say include I mean layout okay we are going to include the layout so app bar layout and let's give ID to this so the ID will be uh, settings underscore toolbar settings toolbar now go to the settings activity come down here and here we can add this private toolbar and select the second one which is android.support v7 widget and let's give it a name as settings toolbar okay and now uh, we have our this initialized field method which we are calling here okay so this is basically the method we, where we uh, initialized our whole uh, fields the edit text and all these things so here we can say settings uh, settings toolbar equals to toolbar find view by id or dot id dot and then id for this is uh, settings toolbar so yeah that's it and now after this we can set a title for it and also the back button we have to enable that so we can say set support action bar to the settings toolbar get support action bar dot set display home is up enabled set display home is up enables to true get support action bar dot set display show custom show custom enabled to true now let's give it a title so get support action uh, get support action bar dot set title and the title for this will be settings or you can say account settings last thing which is left is go to the activity setting dot xml file and here we have to move this profile circular image view with our profile image i mean the user profile image uh, margin from the top should be uh, 90 dp or whatever you like okay 80 dp or whatever the uh, margin you like from the top so now let's run the app so the app is running now successfully and now let's go to the uh, settings activity and here we go okay so you can see this the back button the title so if i click on this back button you can see it send us to the main activity or you can say here to our fragments so now let's go to the settings activity again and now if i click here on this back button then you can see it okay 
the group chat is completed okay and the private chat we have to work on it so we will also add uh, i mean we will uh, implement the private chat uh, completely we are uh, we will display the last scene of a user, the online status, and also let me tell you, we will add the push notification uh, for the, uh, I mean for the uh, whenever a user send uh, request to a chat request to other person, so the receiver will receive a notification uh, on his mobile phone that is, let's say Muhammad Ali sent you a chat request, or you can say Muhammad Ali wants to connect with you. Okay, whenever a receiver receive a new request. So yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and uh, see you guys in the next video bye for now